Jose Zink fanboy. What? What? Yeah. How oh, dare you? Windows developer preview sucked. Windows 8 consumer. I, I, I have my Oracle database running on this thing, SQL database running on this thing. I have all my develop. I have, I have been playing with this for a long, for, not for a long time, but, you know, over a week. And I am. James, he hated uh, the Windows 8 uh, consumer preview. He had so much new stuff door on his laptop. The developer preview has nothing on this. The consumer preview, I can use my keyboard and mouse. I, I guess you guys don't even know the future. I learned all the keyboard shortcuts already on Windows 8 consumer preview. The mouse actually works. I couldn't do this shit in the fucking developer preview. I can move it to the corners and it does everything I want. You know, I I, I have a question for you, Bit. Yes. You can't. I I agree. If you learn all the keyboard shortcuts, you can get around efficiently. What percentage of the average user do you think is going to learn all those no, keyboards? The mouse, the mouse, I can look. I'm doing it now. I have it to my left. I, I, it, 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 I, Linda, I, Microsoft is going to leap ahead of, of Apple hugely in everybody. There, because this worked on a touch device, because because my mouse is simulating the, the gestures on it. This didn't work until the developer preview. The developer preview was like goddamn diarrhea. In the most liquid form that you could fucking know. This is this is this is. I, I have been playing with the consumer preview. I have so that I have developer wise because my main bitch with the developer preview is I couldn't do a fucking thing with it. I installed everything that I had on my developer preview with the consumer preview. I can do everything. I can multitask quickly between my, my like Oracle, my MSS. Oh, wow. Oh, I have I have my Visual Studio 11 up and running. I mean, this is fucking badass. And I can now group all these all my tiles and stuff. I mean, I've got I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have a YouTube video on all this stuff that's coming up. I mean, I have all of them already labeled. I have my Dev Center, my DB Center, my CP A Center, and and every this is all right. Awesome. From, coming from a guy whose favorite OS was NT 4.0. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. it. It's doing what I want it to do. And it's not, it hasn't crashed yet. I've installed fucking Oracle 11G on this goddamn thing. I have Eclipse on here, Visual Studio 11. I have Spybase on here. I have my, my MS SQL 5. Yeah. Who's paying have, you money? <laughs> <laughs> I have to I, I, Have you been bribed? No, I don't need this. I, I'm able to navigate this pretty quick. It is unusual, granted. Eclipse, Sybase, Oracle, uh, MS SQL do go to your normal desktop, but I'm now used to it. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I do oh, 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 yo, you've hit the nail on the head right there, okay? Wait, it only took me a few days. No, no. It didn't take you a few days. You were using the developer preview on and off and on for months. <laughs> The developer preview could not do what I'm doing now. Nowhere near it. I, I but you've gotten used to the initial idea of the inner switching between the desktop mode and the tile mode. Well, let me put it this way. I, I, let, me, let me tell you this way. If the Metro is not getting in my way. And I like how it's managed in these groups. It's, it's kind of OS 10 ish a little bit in its group. Uh, no, it's nowhere near that. You didn't even. Performance OS 10 Ubuntu is more like OS 10. Ugh, how dare you say that? I mean, is that my OS 10 way and how I have things and how I can navigate is very similar, not in UI, but in, in grouping and how I'm in my execution. That's why I, I knew you guys were going to be like, what the hell? I did a 180 on this shit. I am, I am really liking Windows 8 in terms of I can, I can, I, I've tired myself. That's how much of a geek I am on stop watching and navigating between apps on Windows 8 and Windows 7, because Windows 8 to my left, Windows uh, 7 is to my right, and, and, and getting to, I, I love how it lets me do a live tile to one little, I mean, it's like, I, I don't know, it's, I, I am, if it, once, once everything goes to these tile-based uh, programs, the desk, your desktop switching will, will no longer the legacy switching won't. 
and, and to be honest with you, the desktop switching has never been a fucking problem. I mean, it's like, I've got, because I'm running MSSQ. Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I, I'm going to get on one of your points. What about the fact that by default all the tile apps are full screen, so you don't have windows? They're not. You can fucking put them side by side. Where have you been? I can actually stack them. Three, you know, like three by three and all this shit. It's all, I'm having a YouTube video. i got to do that. You should do a tutorial on this, because I'm totally lost with this thing. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. How do you trigger the grid view in the tiles then when you're you using? You have to push them over. You have to push them over. It's like. Uh, so you can do you can do um, three by three, four by four, uh, two by six. Yeah, so it's like you, if you you push them over, like your windows arrow. Well, yeah, that, that, that sucks on their, on their thing is their mail app. Their mail... Uh, you know, uh, Mike, uh, 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 does Thunderbird integrate well? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I've got Chrome, Opera, uh, Eclipse, I've got Visual Studio 11, I've got, um, uh, SIG Server, Sybase, and MSSQL. Uh, oh, goddamn, I needed to do that before. I wanted to install my Visual, my, not my Visual Studio, but, uh, uh, well, Microsoft Developer Studio 1.1 on here because that's one of my favorite. Like, I, I, I've been holding off develop, I've been speaking ill of Windows 8, but I've been holding Final Review off until it actually has a release candidate and consider uh, previews close dude, to that. Dude, download the preview. I already have it. I haven't had a chance to install it yet. Oh, God. It's, it is light and day from the middle. You can't do 80% of what I'm doing in the development. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll look at it. Here's the question I'm going to have for you in the meantime. Okay? The, the, here are the, here are my list of features that I found missing to make Windows 8 usable and you tell me if every one of these is in it. One of them was the window nest you and I both hated. You said they've added the KDE grid like feature where you can tile them in the metro mode so you have a windows like feature. Yes. You can okay. Thing two because you're going to have legacy apps that have to fall back to desktop mode. Can you see both the metro mode and the desktop mode at the same time in case your brain forgets which one it's on so you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth, but you can just look at them both and go, I want that one right now. Well, all right, all right, let me, okay, so if, all right, let me put that in instance. I'm gonna run mail, because see, I have most of my apps run well, I, I, I got a perfect example for you to do. Okay, right, Internet Explorer and... Launch oh, Internet Explorer and Internet Explorer. Launch... Okay, launch I did. All right, Firefox. All right, Firefox runs in desktop mode. Hit Alt-Tab. Boom. And you can switch back and forth. No, 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 no. I don't want to switch back and forth. I want to see them both at the same time. I mean, do this bit. I got, I got an experiment for you. All right. Open... Go to desktop mode. Open oh, IE. Uh, uh, all right, where do we go? I mean, I, I have my open already. In, yeah, de open it from desktop, in mode. desktop mode. Okay. Okay, you're in de you're in desktop mode. You click the IE icon on the bottom, right? Yes, sir. So you have the desktop version of IE running. It's in the desktop. I don't know what you. Yeah, you're, you're basically it's IE in a window. Yes, sir. Okay, now go back to Metro mode. Launch the full screen version of IE or the tile version of IE. Okay. Okay. Go back to the desktop mode. Okay. Open another tab or IE window. Okay. And uh, type it to a different URL or something. Yep. Okay. Now, when you put your mouse in the bottom of desktop mode and hover over the I key icon, do you see two or three? Okay. What do you want me to do? Um, and, and desktop mode, if you put your mouse and hover over the IE icon, you'll see all the open tabs and windows. Right. Okay. Do you only see the ones from desktop mode, or do you see desktop? I have three of So they have fixed it so desktop and Metro talk to each other. Yeah, I mean, all three sessions are up. So, okay, so you if you now now from here click the one that's running in Metro mode. Okay. 
Yeah. Then, and it switches you back to Metro. No, it switches me to a full screen of the IEE thing. I, I mean, it, it's, it's in the Met. It, I, I, it's like uh, you would go to a, if you click on it, then you're from a window. I get that. Explain that. It goes to that your traditional looking browser to a full screen of that metro browser automatically. I don't see the desktop. Oh, so they don't have the, they don't have a metro version. They just have the regular desktop version, but you belong to metro. It, well, no, um, I, the, the metro style IE is is is, is there. Um, how, how should I put this? It's like if you what the way you describe it, it sounds like you said that the. Um, a, a desktop IE just launched, but it suddenly turned into the Metro version, right? Yeah, if you, if you select on the selection, the selection... Uh, uh, okay, so now, 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 now it, okay, so did it, let me ask a question. Did it move the Metro one to the desktop, or did it switch you to the instance running in Metro? No, whatever you launch in desktop stays in desktop, whatever you launch in Metro stays in Metro. A, okay, so that's still broken. Uh, I guess. But, I mean, you know, uh, I guess. Because that's one of the things I saw as being a big break to workflow. You're going to have some things running on the Metro side and some things running on the desktop side. And you're going to, you know, if you're in desktop mode and you need to open a browser, you're not going to switch back to Metro mode. You're just going to click your browser down there in desktop mode. You are speaking very much like in desktop mode, if you move the mouse to the right, uh, and, and all the corners, no left. Oh, 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 okay, but I, I, I'm uh, thinking, I, I know that, but I'm thinking about, I, this is what I'm asking you. I'm, th I'm thinking workflow. I'm thinking average user. I, I wind up in, and wherever that fucking echo is, turn it off. Turn the echo off. Whoever's echoing. That's a contradiction. I am a pro user, and I don't think anybody sub sub me that we use like that we use alt tab or whatever. I mean, I have set, I, look. I am the I was the most anti Windows 8 person on here, and I'm I mean I'm being an honest person here to maintain credibility. I I can't look. I will change my opinion based upon performance. Oh, oh, oh okay, like, but I bet I'm asking, does I, it I does it do, can you? It's a yes or no question. Can I what? Can you access your Metro mode from desktop and desktop from Metro? Explain that. Yes, because there's. there's oh, oh, okay, so when I go down there and I hover over IE or whatever freaking browser that's running in desktop mode, I can access the sessions that are running in Metro mode without having to tab over to Metro mode. Move your mouse over to the, to the left. You can, yeah, I mean... Uh, okay, so I, so, okay, let me ask the question a different way. Do I have to know if the session I'm looking for is in desktop or Metro mode? No, you don't have to. Okay. Not, like, alt tab is also awesome. You can, it, 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 it transgresses everything. Uh, okay, that is what I was asking. Is did they? Because that was a primary UI flaw. You had to. You as the end user had to keep track. Oh, what fucking mode was I in when I launched this? I know it's running somewhere, but I don't know where it is. They separated the mode. There's no mode separating. I guess where it is now. Um, I don't know if there's a mode Okay, so they they so they uh, they did address that complaint. Good. Yeah. Okay, the next problem I was seeing in the primary UI design was the keyboard shortcuts were a little less than elegant. Oh God! Now they've got a shitload of. Uh, okay, so they have they have they streamlined them where they're like. Yeah, I've been using them for for over a week now. Okay, are they well documented? Okay, because that was the other problem. They were not. I've learned about, you know, they are well, well documented. Okay, yeah, well, uh, okay, are they, are they efficient to use? Because some of them were anything but efficient to press. I mean, it's like the, most of the Metro things are the Windows key, the Windows key, and like, like C, which brings up the Windows key, and then 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 the Windows key, and then
metro right menu and and you can go like D and X, which brings your traditional startup menu. And, 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 no, no, no. Okay, it sounds like you're saying yes. They've put them all right next to each other where they need to be, as opposed to. Do this, 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 and okay, this one's over here, this one's over here, so both of your hands are involved in pressing the shortcuts. It's like Z, X, C, B, B, D, F, S. Okay, so... so down left, right, home, and shit, right? The only time you use the left, right, arrow keys is you want to start tiling within Metro. Uh, oh, okay, good, because that was one of the things that was wrong with the initial shortcuts that came out with you. The preview you, yeah, no, you needed two hands to use all these shortcuts, which meant they broke your entire workflow up to even access them. My God, I, I am like, when I installed the consumer preview, I was like, what, why didn't they install it? How dare Microsoft release the double preview? That was, my, that was my thing. How dare you screw us that count over this consumer preview? How dare Microsoft do this? I was, I've been so upset that this is just... I, I bet, I bet, I have a theory. I have a theory on this based on what you're saying. I think they thought they had the developer preview right, but with us and the blogs and everybody else bitching endlessly, they said, maybe, just maybe, we should tweak this a little. Yes. <laughs> I honestly think that's what it is. Because if they had not done this, 90% of people would have picked up their computer and thrown it against the wall. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying, though, they made it at least usable. Yeah, so, what pisses me off about Windows 8, you can't turn Metro off. Well, that was to be expected. You were going to be. I don't be... want to turn it off. I like Metro. I do. Uh, <laughs> uh. No, I have. Man, I'm going to do a whole YouTube video. This is awesome. I have all my dev shit. Look, have y'all ever heard of... Uh, uh, okay, but, but I do have one more question, but I think you answered it, but I want to make sure. I okay. have like this, I think it's called Pains. No, I no, I, I have a question. Years. Can you and, move stuff about the start menu without having to drag it all over the bejesus place? Can you just go wait, click, click? What do you mean? Give me an example. I'm, I'm trying to group tiles for workflow purposes. Yes! I have a group of called development and a group of DB. Uh, okay, so basically on any tile you can just click it and you say... Can give a specific control panel function a tile if you want. So that's basically like a, um, a feature of KDE. What's that called where you have like disk work? Very KDE. much like KDE. Yeah. You yeah. Can, if you want to know how to do all this stuff, I can, I can make either web shortcuts from Firefox a goddamn tile if I wanted to. Uh, okay. okay. So what they did is basically they've used the KDE code base functionality with the Metro UI. You can customize this son of a bitch like you. And I can zoom out like fucking expose and shit, man. This is awesome. No, this is just gonna help you. That's basically what it is. Uh, dude, I'm telling you. No, no, but I guarantee you, Kami, based on the features he's saying, I'm gonna have to look at it. But this is uh, Windows finally making use of the KDE code base if, they've if, had. If, uh, no, no, Burma wouldn't get, well, I don't know, you're not going to own person. But like, no, no, no but Kami, the reason I know that it's coming from KDE is because GNOME is not on Windows and KDE is. Functionality, like, um, I, I, I know, but, but Kami, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. KDE has licensed their code base to Microsoft. Gnome has it. It's coming from the I, KDE. I, 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 I'm not talking about code. I'm talking about functionality. When, when KDE, KDE 2 was basically like the 9X style. You know what I mean? Not KDE 2. Um, Gnome 2 was, was 9X style basically, right? Now with Gnome 3, that it, all this extra shit in there where you can you can customize the hell out of it, but they change everything. Let me just tell you straight out. You can group tiles. You can arrange tiles how you want. You can make uh, a simple web page a tile. You can make any application. Even Eclipse that doesn't install as a true as a true application, you know, like it won't it won't show up in the control panel even under Windows Seven. You can make an active tie. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, Marcel's conversion away from the Apple is complete, and he didn't go where we thought he went. He's gone <laughs> Windows. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I mean, no. I mean, I'm just saying that the Windows it hasn't crashed yet. And I mean, I've tried. I put my legacy shit on here. It's handling it. It is Windows 7 with a UI did change. 
this is what it is. It, uh, Windows 8 is not... We knew it was the same core. The, the yeah. complaint with Windows 8 was the UI was such a departure from the traditional Windows UI that base Windows functionality you had depended on for workflow was gone and the UI didn't communicate elegantly with itself. What you're saying is because everybody's been bitching, they have taken a step back and restored that stuff before launch. Yeah, the thing of it is is that Metro apps will take over. Um, .NET has made it a lot easier now. Uh, I've got Windows Studio 11 Express. Uh, okay, there, there is one other point. Mm -hmm. Have they fixed the up team jillion clicks thing? Because the things like control... Oh, Things like control panel and so on were all. I thought you could make a control panel a live tip. A live, a no, 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 bit. That's not what I'm asking. I, I'm asking uh, the problem you had, like when you were using the Metro file browser or trying to set administrative settings and control panel, you had to go click, 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 click. You can make all the last click a live tile. So basically, you click through it once, and then you make that a tile. All right, you're done. Okay. Like, give me, let's, let's go to control panel. Let's do something like control panel. Um, let's see here. Let me go. Uh, I can find that commercial guy gets in the way of me. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I, I mean, that, Bit, uh, Bit, let me ask you. Can you make icons? Look. Bit, I have a question. Look up a software thing called Paint. On, on Microsoft. Uh, I have I, grouped everything on all of my Windows systems uh, using Paint, which is like I have main, ga like games, tools, and development. Bit, and I have a question for you. Apparently it's like tiles. Uh, okay, Bit, I have a question for you. Do you have Skype installed on your Windows 8 system? Not yet. You want me to do it right now? No, well, what I was going to say is because th this is obviously going to be a full show in and of itself. What I want you to do, is, you're going to be around Thursday, right? I hope. Okay. In theory, you're around Thursday and we do Cranky Geeks. We right. will go through this, but you'll need to put Skype on there so we can you can screencast over and we'll, um, we'll just go through it. That's a great idea. Um, let's see. See, like here, I'm going to... Let me give me some of the control panel that you guys want as a live tile. Uh, no, I don't want it as a live tile. I just want to be able to get you to it. You want to do one click to it, which is a live tile. So no, I, I just don't want to do eight times the clicks to it. I, I, yeah, I, you can like let's see your uh, I don't know fucking manage storage space. I'm looking for resolution. What? The resolution. Resolution. Which would be Actually, I have a better uh, one. Um, administrative tasks. The screen resolution you just do. Actually, no, I got a better one for you. How many clicks does it take to get? Because screen resolution is one, is two clicks away on Windows Seven. Oh yeah, basically yeah. So that's kind of a waste. Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's it's right click, and and go to screen resolution. Yeah, yeah. Windows Metro won't let you do the right clicks yet, but I read that, that Microsoft said that that that's coming. Um, you cannot right click on the Metro background and expect personalization yet. Yeah, which okay, they do need to add that back. But man, uh, I mean personalization. Or or. They, I've got firewall control, local security. Control, I, 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 there, there, there is an alternative single way. Click, single click. Out. Uh, okay, there is an alternative way Metro can also address that. They can do what KDE does. They can have a little icon in the corner that you just click. I mean, yeah. Um, print, have print management as a live tile. Wait, can you turn the lock off? Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, bit. Uh, okay, we're, uh, uh, we're going to have to go through this in Cranky Geeks because I, you, you, you're in love with putting it on your start menu, but do you really want to put every single tool you have in your start menu? I, just, I, group, I do that on OS 10. I group my things on OS 10. I, I group them on Windows 7. I, would you guys look at a software called Paint? It's called Paint, as in window paint. I've been using that for years. 
and managing my icons on the desktop through my window system. Yeah, but I don't like that. I just like going. I just like the uh, one, two, three click thing. Dude, if you you can make your mouse scroll up and down, and it will scroll metro left and right. I mean, it's fucking. All of a sudden, with the consumer preview, you can do all this goddamn shit with a keyboard and mouse that you couldn't do with the developer preview. The developer preview was useless compared to this shit. I can, I can, I can, I mean, it's, I can hit the Windows key control and zoom out, where it makes it like an expose type thing. It's like fucking awesome. So what you're telling me is Windows has finally caught up to Linux? I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, Linux is much more customizable. I'm not, I'm never going to say something is much more no, no, I'm I'm trying to I I I, I I'm trying to focus. I I I'm I'm trying to be fair here. I am trying to bit bit. I am trying to be fair here. I'm I I'm glad they've added those features to Windows. But in terms of UI comparison, I'm trying to compare it to Windows Seven and XP because that's what you need to be comparing it to. Over a week, let's say about ten days, and. I can navigate Windows 8 Consumer Preview as quick, faster than I can Windows 7. Okay, so we'll, we'll, you'll put Skype on there when we do Cranky Geeks, whether it's okay. this okay. week or... It's all Skype. Okay, I'm going to install Skype. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through it, and we'll we'll just go through. Yeah. And we'll do the challenge back and forth. And I, I, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Windows 7 here, you'll have... You'll have Windows 8. I'll let you lead on Windows 8 since you've been using the consumer longer than I have, and we'll just go through it. And I'll go, okay, this is what I would do in Windows 7. Show me how you do it in Windows 8. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty and you can hit Metro immediately. And well, by Metro. default, you're you're shunted into Metro, and that was the problem. If they've addressed. Yeah, like now, I'm like, I want Word. Boom. Oh, I start typing Word, and I'm done. You know, I say I, it's like it's you. You can hit Metro and just start typing on the keyboard, whatever you want, like Eclipse. Okay, so by default, once you're in the Windows Start screen, which is where you start by boot, you don't even have to hit Start Run. You can just start typing. In the so by default, keyboard types are as if you're typing in the search box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's fucking sweet as shit. So basically, to do it keyboard I know. It's, bam, they're not in Firefox. I just type in Firefox, bam, bot, it brings in Firefox. I, it, it bring, it, it's in a desktop mode. Firefox runs in desktop mode, but look, I was a biggest bitcher in Windows 8, but I have to be a credible guy. right? It, it doesn't matter how hard I rant against something. For instance, if iOS changes tomorrow, I have to be crow. I know, I, you know, that I, I, like I said, we'll go through this when we do Cranky Geeks. If they've really addressed all the things you had, where they've made it usable, where the average user is not going to be in an endless boxing match with their system, then uh, we, we look like assholes because we've been talking about problems that have been addressed. This is not the full bank thing, but goddamn, I've been using this for 10 days and I've been able to fucking do... I've, I, I, had, I went ahead and installed Versus the developer preview, I went. I, I didn't install MySQL or Oracle or any of that other shit on my developer preview because it was useless to me. This, I was like, hello, this is, you know. <laughs> okay. So this is your production machine? No, no, not yet. I mean, it, it, I can do it, sure. I mean, but they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna hit me up with a, with a code key eventually. You know? um, oh, I, 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 I am sure they're going to let you do the same thing they let people who were testing W7, you can basically call them up and buy a key and activate the system and update it. Yeah, I, I doubt they'll I doubt they'll make you reinstall. I can't I can't sign into Skype on my Windows 8 machine while I'm on with you guys, but it's on, it's working. No, no, like I said, we'll do this when we do Cranky Geeks, when we can uh, dedicate more. I don't know, guys, look, I've got, I've got my groups of live tiles, Dev, DB, CP-A, which means control panel administration, and then and then uh, side, which is basically calendar, mail, weather, their shopping mall, Windows desktop. Uh, 
I've removed a shitload of tiles that were worthless to me, you know, like all this bullshit bubblegum crap. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I even have my bookmark. Oh, no, I, I, I guarantee that. you. Uh, I, I guarantee you that is going to be the default on every Windows 8 system. You're going to have the first group of tiles. All, all the fluff icons you have on the desktop are going to be the first group of tiles there in that start screen. And it, none of my Windows systems have come with a desktop that I would like to have. Oh uh, yeah, I know. That, that's the first thing you do to a Windows system. You gut it, and you say, "Stop fucking with me." <laughs> I have customized every Windows system I've owned. I've even customized my OS 10. I have I have YouTube videos to prove how much I've customized OS 10. Okay, so right. nobody no, that is not a fair. Oh, no, no, bit. I wasn't saying that as a strike. I was just saying that's what the consumer systems are going to be. They're going to have the upsell. They're going to have the upsell tabs. I'm sorry. I, ha I am a credible user. Like, the second that iOS changes and makes itself better, then I'm going to have to eat all the goddamn batteries. Uh, 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 we're going to go through it on Cranky Geeks. It's Based on what you're saying, it sounds like they have addressed what we were complaining about. This is a preview. But we got to go through it. We have to do the blah to blah Hi. to blah. Oh, by the way, here we are in follow-up. Safari will want to will run the EVE Online 3D model if you go to um, Safari Preferences, Enable Developer Menu, and then you go to Develop Menu and you say Enable WebGL, it'll let me run, I have to be fair, my entire existence socially as Mr. Bit is to be a credible person. So I am being credible now and saying, when we were ranting against Safari on my OS X machine, I learned after that that if I go to preferences in Safari... I don't think we got any of that on tape, but okay. Okay, and then I say show develop menu in menu bar. No, you do have it. You, you, you did read those videos. Uh, and, and then it shows a develop menu option under Safari, and you say enable WebGL. It will on Snow Leopard. Nothing below Snow Leopard will run WebGL. So, Wait a minute. Uh, okay, under uh, preferences, but we're in preferences. I got a whole bunch of Safari. Well, Safari preferences. Go to advanced. Click under advanced. I'm on your wrist. All right, now click the checkbox below at the very bottom. It says Show Develop Menu and Menu Bar. Right. Click that. Close out. It'll now show Safari, File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks, and Develop. If you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 down, enable WebGL, click it, and it'll enable it, and you can go to EVE Online, and then you'll be able to render those 3D ships. Wow, that sounds like a big, huge pain in the ass. <laughs> but it does support it, as long as you jump through all those hoops. Yeah. Have I not, have I not gained the recognition in YouTube by being a bullshitter or what? I mean, I, I know. You have to go through, jump through all those hoops to enable them. Okay, fine. No, th no, this is one of the reasons I'm honestly thinking that uh, when when we have more, because neither one of us have an abundance of free time right now, but later in the year when we have some free time, we should do a couple of tor tutorial shows. Just I know. To, cause, to, cause I, 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 yeah, I agree with you. I, I'm just the type of person that I cannot go against why I joined YouTube. I don't like the iPad. I don't like iOS. But the second it changes to something I like, I have to change my opinion. I, I That's the way I am. I have to be as truthful as possible to everybody. I don't like HP, but you saw me singing the praises of the stupid Z, whatever. No, I, that's just the way I am. I cannot, for the sake of sound bites or whatever, if something makes a change that all of a sudden changes my opinion, I reflect it. And, and we were ragging on Safari on my Mac Pro and saying it couldn't render 
to EVE Online since. We, we did that in the show. And so when I later found out that I could do it by these jumping through hoops, whatever you want to call it, I had to rectify that and make it clear because I, 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 I am not comfortable with a video just saying, oh, uh, OS 10, you suck now because you can't do WebGL through Safari. Um, so I, I found well, uh, and I, I, I don't think we actually got that part on tape. I'll find out when I get down that deep in those videos. Okay. But if, if I did, I'll publish the link over to this part. I want to be OS 10, you said, be like Safari, you suck. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit slow, but I got the preference part now. But now, what else? Right, now go to Safari. Alright, you're in Safari, right? Yeah. Alright, now, look at the top menu. It says Safari, File. So we're going to the right. Safari, File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks, Develop. You see the Develop on the menu above? Uh, yeah. Click it. Yeah. Ten options down. It'll be Send. It'll be below Send. Do not track HTTP header. It'll say enable WebGL. Click it. It'll have a check mark next to it, and then you can go to EVE Online and run. Alright, it's gone. Alright, there you go. But really, what's really the point in that? You know, you just use Firefox anyway, though. Anyway, wait. I don't want my desktop set yeah, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. My, my, still, still, though, my playbook can run WebGL when the iPad cannot. DirectX, man. DirectX is better than OpenGL. WebGL is, is a canvas through... Yeah, we're not talking about gaming platforms this. We're talking about web platforms. Anyway, by the way, on Windows 8, on Windows 8, I have trouble getting Firefox from WebGL. I've gone through about config, and I cannot... I don't know how many geeks know about about config. If you put about config in your or LR. Is that, let me ask a question. Is that a uh, Windows 8 issue or is that a Firefox it version? It might be a Windows 8 issue. I'm not sure. But Chrome will run WebGL on Windows 8. Right? Because I'm wondering about that because it, it ran fine on both Mac and Windows 7 in Firefox. Right. And it runs fine over here on Linux in Firefox. However, that's not necessarily fair to make that a strike either against Firefox or Microsoft because it is still a beta. It is not an actual release yet. And if it's a compatibility issue, I wouldn't expect that to be necessarily updated until like a month before people are going to start switching to that. And Opera can't run WebGL. You also have to go through the whole group. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's because Opera. Uh, uh, it's saying that the Safari is the only browser you can run on uh, iOS. Uh, Opera. I like Opera, guys. It's not bashing. Opera. I mean, is for the longest goddamn time was a fastest browser. I still think it is one of the fast. I, I, I don't know. I think it's fast. Uh, no, I, I, I. Okay, Opera is not my cup is not my cup of tea. However, I ha I have nothing bad to say about Opera except that it's not my flavor of browser. But I have nothing bad to say about it. Out of the box, but if you you know get into the preferences, Opera to me the reason why I stuck with Opera and I know it's just like this off-brand browser. No, no, that, that's the thing I can't it's figure out with Opera. It's such kick-ass that I cannot... No, know, no, like, like I said, I, it's not my personal preference, but it's a great browser. I, I, To my life of me, I cannot understand why it can't get market share because it really is a good browser. It's not the one I would choose, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's very utilitarian, and it's very useful, it has a lot of great features to it. I, I, to this day, I cannot figure out why it has this non-existent market share. Yeah, let me put this way. I hate Safari. I don't use Safari on the Mac. I don't use Safari on the Windows. Safari, to me, does not exist. I cannot stand that goddamn browser. But anyway, uh, I'm a, I am pretty much a Firefox fanboy and an Opera second. I mean, that, I, I, Firefox, because of all the plugins that it has, but Rusty's caught me. Because Rusty sent me an email one time, he's like, oh, you're an Opera fan, and I didn't realize, but I had sent him something from Opera that he caught it. But, but, um, 
but uh, I use Opera as well. I don't know, maybe it's like, uh, I wouldn't say it's 50-50. I probably use five thoughts, maybe 65 percent of the time, and Opera the rest. Uh, I, I am very much an Opera user, and that, and that uh, there is quick as shit, man. And versus even Chrome. That, 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 on all my uh, here's the thing. I, I love Firefox, but some of the changes the Firefox has been making recently have got me a little... I'm not sure I'm going to continue to support Firefox, even though I love it. It's utilitarian. Uh, but it, it's Chrome, right? So, uh, well, I use Chromium, not Chrome. However... Chrome there, is like... Yeah, no, the issue you have with Chrome, I also have with Chrome, because it's like, it's fast if you're running not a lot of them, but because of all that virtualization it does, it it uses too goddamn many resources, which is why I keep using Firefox. Such a fucking resource Yeah, because it's doing, it's doubling up on everything because of all that virtualization, which, yes. Yeah, I cannot stand Chrome. I mean, it runs fast, but goddamn you can't price I, I I am impressed with it and how it how it renders web stuff good, but I do not like it the way it uses resources on the system highly inefficiently. Right. So it's like I'm torn between it's an okay browser, but it's an inefficient piece of software. Yeah, when that's a machine, I've got. Let me tell you, I've got. Oh, here's all the custom things. Of course, oh, here's on my dev section. I've got my desktop, Notepad, Visual Studio 11. And this is a build notification, which has to be with Visual Studio and then Eclipse, a developer command prompt, and then Mozilla, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Opera. All installed well on the Google preview of Windows 8. Databases, SQL Server Management Studio, and that's including SQL Server 2012 and the Management Studio uh, for it. Sybase Central and Sybase Annual Console, for those that know what Sybase is. My SQL you, you know what? I have some. I don't expect you to answer this right now because it's not the type of stuff you do. But will is Windows 8 the first version of Windows that will finally play nice with emulating Apache and MySQL and stuff on it? Oh well, do that. I mean, that's a Windows server, and I run Windows 2000. Yes, but you know what I'm talking about. I, 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 you have, I'm sure you haven't installed that because it's not the type of stuff you do, but I do want I you to... I have, I have. I've got several companies running a Windows machine that's running my SQL and PHP on them. Uh, okay, I'm talking about you need to emulate an Apache environment on Windows. You don't have to emulate an Apache environment. No, I'm talking about when you have to do that. I've never had an answer before I had to. Like I said, you don't do that type of development. Why don't you have to be like Apache on it? Is there a problem Because Apache is not IIS. And IIS is not Apache. And if you're developing for an Apache environment and you're not using a Linux system on this end, you have to emulate Apache on the Windows system so you can... Probably the Linux side, yeah. Yes. Because you know what I'm talking about. You don't do that type of web development. That's one of the primary reasons my desktop yeah, system. I would do that for Microsoft Point. That's why. Well, okay, but there are people for reasons beyond my comprehension. Well, somebody else has a blue, a blue, uh, a blue cherry keyboard. Who is that? That's typing. <laughs> I have a. I don't have a cherry keyboard. I have a Xeos keyboard. That's all. Is it? Doesn't have a Windows key. Is it? What? What kind of? Is it a mechanical? It's mechanical. It's, it's one of those uh, Model 11 clones because it has a spring. Uh, it's using Alp? Is it using Alps or Chips? I have no clue. It has, it has one of those springs in it. That's all I know. That's definitely a mechanical keyboard, though. Yeah, no, it is a mechanical. It's just an old one. It's a, it's a replica of an old one, actually. You know what? I'm so sick of this shit. Mechanical keyboards rule. It's that way approved. Yeah, that's right. Everybody else, you can fucking kiss my ass on Main Street, but your keyboard sucks shit. Use a <laughs> and you will know what typing on the keyboard means. You know, I agree with you a bit. However, I'm going to be dead honest. The only people who really get the efficiency that a mechanical keyboard offers and that really get the full benefit from it 
are power users and developers that are fucking like crazy. Bullshit. I can put a nanosecond stopwatch to it, and that if somebody had a mechanical keyboard, the keystroke that they hit, the, like a blue cherry before they hit a chiclet keyboard, would execute the, the exact keyboard function faster than on a chiclet keyboard. Especially uh, if they use, uh, especially oh, oh, okay, if I guess technically every user could get some benefit, but also most people don't like the typing noise you get with them. Get exactly, and they can go kiss her my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to quote your favorite word, they're willing to trade the nano, the second nanosecond uh, delays uh, before uh, the opportunity cost of a silenter keyboard. Because they're not doing work where they really get... Why do you put a fucking computer in the first place, for God's sake? You went from a typewriter to a goddamn keyboard to a fucking computer. You know what? These people are full of shit. That's what I'm saying. We went from typewriters to... You know what? Kiss my ass on Main Street. You're, the whole idea on goddamn computers is to make yourself fucking better as a goddamn human being and make yourself... Efficient. No, that's oh, your no, idea no, on no, computers. No, other people want to do something else. <laughs> it takes me goddamn 30 minutes more to do everything, but oh, it's such a pleasurable experience. Kiss my goddamn left butt cheek. <laughs> Why the left butt cheek? I don't know, that's what I thought. Right, I'm jealous. This is what the this is what they want to do. <laughs> they want to do that. <laughs> All right. Follow up. My sons now own goddamn Angry Birds. <laughs> Should I, uh, uh, can I ask you something, Mr. Bitt? Uh, uh, you wanted a, uh, uh, a desktop top that will do more and more things with you, but you want, but you're, uh, all over, uh, Windows Metro, which pretty much is going against what you just Windows said. Windows 8, not Metro. Windows 8. Windows 8 did incorporate Metro with the Windows operating. I do find the tiles quicker. You like the keyboard shortcuts? Yes. I do. Yeah, you I can't do. make customization of the tiles. Yes. But I, I, don't like, I don't like it by default because, okay, I have no clue what the hell I am doing. It's not by default. You have to make it custom. But I've not ha owned a Windows system where I haven't customized it to my use. Well, no, and that that was the big thing we were complaining about with Windows 8, that it lacked the ability to do the needed customization and didn't communicate well when you couldn't navigate around elegantly. If they've addressed all of that, which we will cover in Cranky Geeks, then it's a learning curve versus a complete destruction of the system. This is, this is an insult. How dare my... So I'm saying, this is for your consumers. Why didn't we see this shit as a problem? Oh, well, you don't need it, Mr. Bay. You just need the fucking Windows 311 to goddamn, you know, fucking develop your, your freaking asynchronous. You, you know what? I will agree with you. That argument is bullshit because part of being a developer is you have to understand the human factors of how the average person is using well, the system. Yeah, most of the developer previews that we get in a Mac and stuff is about, all right, this is the, this is the code base you're doing with, which just adds a lot of merit. I'm just saying. You know, well, but, okay, no, to be fair, though, there's a significant difference between a Windows developer preview, especially with a UI change, and a Mac developer preview, because Apple generally doesn't make massive departures from the way they do a UI. Very incremental. Yeah, wi Windows, on the other hand, tends to just make unilateral changes of from blah to blah. So you, it, it, it matters very much in a Windows developer preview. I mean, can I put my studio cam on, I mean, my webcam on, and show you guys what I'm talking about? With well, that's why we're going to cover it in Cranky Geeks, because I didn't think we were going to be going into anything like this. I haven't I haven't finished fixing the video shit. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Because I want people to understand what I'm talking about. Okay. It's not going to work. Um. Let me get. Let me, I'm gonna send. I guess something through Skype or uh, whatever they like, show. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna show you something on that too. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture of my Windows um, 7 desktop. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not called paint. God damn it! Away. It's called fences. Fences. Uh, look up. Yeah, when I go over there, I couldn't find it. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I thought it was paint. Windows. Oh, it's called sorry. fences for Windows. I don't get it. Uh, so Microsoft 
is turn is giving you two complete desktops. Why Apple is just you know with the high with with the whole iOS. Wait, 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 this I this the whole fucking shit that came in line and down line is a whole. All right, all right, all right, all right. But the iOS interface is just an app on Windows. I mean on Mac OS ten. That's all I'm saying. Wait, say that again. Uh, the the iOS interface that they put on what line uh, that they put. There's no the iOS interface. Device. They've added they've added notification features and the launch bar. The launch bar is really just an app. Uh, well, yeah, of course, everything on Windows is also an app as well. I mean, everything. I mean, technically, the start menu slash screen is an app. All right, for everybody watching this video, type in fences for Windows and type images in Google, and you will see what the hell I'm talking about in grouping. That is very much like live tiles. Fit, just put a link in the Google Doc, and I'll put it in the show notes. All right. Well, and, I, and I'll even cut in a screen grab of it. Okay. Well, Wait, I, I, I can cut all that in and post. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's just, e e email, email me a screenshot. Right now, hold on. Windows. That's just the window. I'm going to put it right down in the Skype thing. Okay. But well, don't put it in Skype, because then i got to manually drag it over. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's alive, dude. Just, you know. All right, fine. I'll drag it over. Here we go. Here we go. Control. Where's my goddamn? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That makes so much sense. <laughs> uh, you see what I'm saying with fancy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't look at it right now without taking y'all down. That's I can't I can't use the Skype chat while we're doing the show. That's why I was saying in the Google Doc. Slash slash fences. Type that in. No, just to say fences for Windows, man. Good fucking lord. That's exactly what Metro does, essentially. Except think of the icons as live tiles. That makes sense. Say thank you, Commodore. Thank you. So you know what I'm saying? I've been running like that for years. Because icons suck. That's why I fucking hate iOS. God damn, why do you make me scroll through goddamn pages of bullshit icons? Fuck I have to put that list. Apple still hasn't learned their goddamn list. They copied from Windows to choose icons. <laughs> oh, it's not like an Apple fanboy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, you are. Uh, the Apple copy everything. Uh, Windows copy everything, you know? Call me, do me a favor and copy and paste that into the Google Doc. That's true. Look, everybody, both, we already had a show on this, on, on Park, on Xerox Park, and, and what, who took from what. It's just that Windows did software development for, for Macintosh, and, App, and, and Steve Jobs felt betrayed. Because, yeah, yeah, they Linux. yeah, they not only developed for them, they decided to make their own operating system, and that's, how they, that's why they lost the, 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 whole, the whole case against them. Uh, there was no copy. Zero, uh, uh, Microsoft hired its own employees from Xerox Park. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, you, sound, you just sound like uh, one of those fanboys says, oh, well, blah, copy who, but who gives a shit, you know? <laughs> anyway, look at, just Google exactly. Fences for Windows. You type images and you'll see what, that's the grouping that you get with Windows 8 Consumer Preview. It's fucking phenomenal, it's great. I have been living like that for years. That makes so much sense. Thank you. You see, I am, you know what? Everybody, I am the master of efficiency. That's my title. <laughs> Are you the master of your domain? That's <laughs> right. Well, my domain and many others. <laughs> <laughs> Bit. Uh, that's what Tokyo doesn't get. Bit. <laughs> you, never actually, you never have to watch Seinfeld. That this it, okay. Let me ask a question. When you Google fences for Windows and the images, is this one this first image atypical of fences for Windows? Um, I look at the front page on the website. Well, I mean, there's. I, I, I'm just asking. This one that that says Win Seven Desktop with Star uh, Stardock fences. Win. Yes. I mean, that can be one example. Uh, okay. Bit. Do you know exactly what that looks like to me? Linux, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say. Okay, so let me get this straight. You have been using 
basically the Linux UI that I like. That's <laughs> like okay. <laughs> Uh, let me ask a question. How much is fences? Free. Okay. I, I, I was afraid you were going to tell me you had to pay for that. I'm like... It says buy pro. What's, how much is pro? And what's the difference? I've never, I've never bought pro. I so he doesn't money. know. <laughs> okay. Like, I, I'm just thinking... But wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, Rusty. On your, on, your, on your Linux UI implementation, it could be argued that both moved in parallel because when, by the time that grouping came on with, or with Linux, by the time that grouping came on with uh, Windows would probably be about the same time. And, and it, it's kind of like that thing of like, is it the chicken or the egg? Linux was developed in terms of that, let's, the GNU kernel could utilize many UI implementations on top of it. Actually, no, you're going to get all the Linux fanboys jumping on your ass if you say that. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Most of the ones I join are arguing KDE versus no, for fuck's sakes. I mean, they're arguing UI implementation and, and end user implementation. Yeah, yeah, no, the reason I said you're going to get the fanboys jumping on you isn't because of your point. It's because they're going to bring up all the UIs that you left out. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it was, everything's an evolution. But, that, but we have to understand, it's kind of like the thing where all these patent wars come from. A lot of things develop in parallel. It just happens because all of a sudden technology arises and, oh, we can all of a sudden do this. And then it happens in parallel. And, and I, oh, no, I, don't, I, I don't disagree with that. And it's a feature yeah. Windows has needed for a long ass time. If they've built something like this into Windows, okay, my yeah, response is, it's done. about damn time. <laughs> That's still not there. I know no, that's. Can do it the third party installation. You you can do it. I, I I here's the thing. I don't see Microsoft building that in anytime soon because it's it it's one of those. They're they can maybe think about doing that in the next version of Windows because they're getting people used to the idea of having more than one active space. Yeah, let's put it this way. Windows is dominated business. Bet so you're going to honestly sit here and tell me multiple desktops is not ultimately very beneficial to workflow? Yeah, I mean, it is for us, but to be honest with you, the business model that and what is why when it succeeded is that, come on, most of my clients, they don't... Uh, I put a new link at the very bottom. Oh, wait, are, wait but are you making the argument that humans only like to do one thing at a time? No. <laughs> I'm saying they got used to, I'm saying they got used to, Windows doesn't make it hard like OS X used to. Windows gives you everything you want to see already on the taskbar. OS X was a little bit more difficult for that in the old days, okay? Uh, 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 honestly, I agree with you because the taskbar is one of the primary reasons way, way back in the early days, I, I was like, I switched away. I liked that the that the file edit and menus were contained within the windows, and I loved the taskbar. I'm like, words, your multiple desktops were, were encased in that minimized uh, space on the taskbar. But but that doesn't mean that you want to have, now that Metro is coming out. Oh, I guarantee you, the next release is going to they're going to have to make something like Spaces because every Metro app that I've launched does take full screen. See, and that, okay, so they haven't fully addressed the Metro flaw. But it doesn't mean you can't tile. You can't tile, Rusty. I'm just saying that, it, but, it, but, but the full screen truly erases. Start menus, everything. You are in that app. Now, it doesn't mean if, it, if you don't know how to do it, which, what, I mean, every operating system had its learning curve, you could tile your Metro apps. But it takes 
the screen, and that's it. Let me ask a question, Bit. Uh, can you change the way it default launches so it doesn't do full screen, but it instead tiles in the corner like you had it last time you launched it, or do you have to retile every time you launch? Um, okay, so if I if I if I Be, because in both Linux OS X and current Windows Seven, if I open an application and I like resize it and then I close it and I open it again, Metro is not Windows. There are no Windows. Oh, 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 so you, you, you cannot tile the full screen apps. Can tile. You can tile, like I can split my screen up with different applications, but there's no taskbar anymore. There, it, it, it's like um, if, you were divided, if you were to divide your screen real estate into thirds, each application would take full up top and bottom the real estate. There's so no you real have real to leave completely to go back to, yeah. Uh, you would just, well, well, this is why we're going to go into this in Cranky Geeks. Yeah, we're just going to go through the list and go through it. Because right now, we're just pissing everybody off talking about this because they can't see what we're talking about. We need to do this in Cranky Geeks. Like, if you wanted to go to the ones you need to we need, we, bet, we need to do this in Cranky Geeks where people can see what the devil we're talking about. Okay. You would, yeah, you would have to move your mouse to the left in Windows 8 to get to the universal view. Okay, but like I said, we'll do it in Cranky.